it now, boys and girls. That's a typewriter. I thought that was a pistol. New game. It's too hard. Like a challenge. Playing on the old trusty ES5. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations. Yo, these graphics is crazy. These graphics is crazy. These graphics is crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Looking for an answer. It's CGI. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Got Jerry Leto. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Mm -hmm. I see a. Uh, in a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. Facts. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Mm. This is not the story I hoped it would be. Okay. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Talk to him. And monsters wear many faces. Hold on. Might I add just the music? This me? Bare ass? Man, what is this Hank Hill? I don't even want to move the camera. I'm trying to see homie's face, but I'm scared to look in the front. What is this? My brother, ew. We got to immerse though, we got to immerse though. I'm a um, middle-aged white man. Naked and afraid. Naked and afraid. Can you hear me? Oh. Yo. Already gone. Yo. I don't even want to know if I want to be seen right now. This is like, this is like not. Where you want to be, you know what I mean, seen. Can I get some clothes? Give me like a leaf, like the old cartoons. Yeah, perfectly. They got me walking on, bruh. Oh my god. Volume up, volume up, please. Turn your volume up. <laughs> Fair warning. I... Usually do not jump on jump scares. Okay. That one kind of got me. Let us continue. Let's find out what is going on. What's my story? Who am I? I look like a Frank. That's my name. I'm Frank right now. Yeah. Yo. The use of CGI uh, cutscenes in the midst of me playing, like the surrealism of that shit, you know? Yo, chill. Nah, they got knives. It's like, oh my god. Nah, brother. Brother, no. Brother, no. I'm gonna go this way. Never mind.
right? take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. The deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten yeah. by a bear? I'll check out that map. Return one, invitation. Yo. So this me, right now, uh, I didn't catch her name. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Oh my God. My bad, y'all, we know how batteries be. I should take a look at that map. We don't take a look at the map, but hold on. Let me take a look at you, mama. Yeah, FBI. Got the Christmas sweater on. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. You? Or we? I think we. Talk to him. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading Saga. this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Mm -hmm. Shoot. 
Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Where's those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? The federal agent's right here, Thornton. My <clears throat> partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Professional. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Okay. So we've seen an intro. Uh Buddy, naked man, uh, Frank is what I'm gonna call him. He looks like a Frank. Was in the woods, Colt captured him, sliced his heart open, took it out. Okay, now there's city folk running around the forest, and uh, they may or not be racist to the city folk. So. I wanna see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. Yep. Appreciate you, Mulligan. All right, follow me, Casey. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Do the case. I'm about to review this scenery. This is what we come out here for. Okay. It's nice. You got some? Nothing, huh? Okay. Not a bad place to get murdered. What? If getting back to nature is your thing. I would never say some shit like that. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. store hey yo deputy thornton i take it thornton that's me at your service ready to get this case solved now the body's behind the store come on i'll show you you don't like shake hands so fbi huh that's so cool Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? What? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? <laughs> you guys hiring? Oh, Let's just see this body, shall we? Damn, bro. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. We didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. <laughs> you owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Bruh. Sincer, sincer. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You know, like the first key image, you can place it on the case board inside the mines in place. Up on the D pad, allow Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected next. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Hmm. Placing a key image on case. Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Uh, 
Placing an image, placing a key image on the cage board begins a new line of, of investigation. Okay. <clears throat> Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this linked to the killings. We're here to investigate. When a key image is placed, it will be prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable on the case board in your goals. Investigate the crime scene. We're not free to examine the case board or leave. Consistent with previous murders? Okay. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. No. Nope. We got the heart. The killer left the heart right next to the body. What we got? Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Okay. Start with... Open a question. Consistent. Bruising alive on restraint. Got the chest wound. Can I not do anything with this? Major chest trauma. Not consistent though. Open the question. Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. They took the heart but out? this time the heart and the straps were left behind. Mm. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved the open question and locked the deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. So my goals is... Triangle. Investigate the crime scene. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Who okay. is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. A heavy Large blood. amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Yeah. We've seen it. What else we got? Footprints. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Alex over here just fucking Casey over here Casey yeah watching the fucking rain what's this tripod someone left in a hurry knocked the tripod over was it for a camera someone was drinking beer they spent time here waiting mm. okay um Multiple footprint. I would believe that would be the killers. Uh, what else we got? Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. What about the the blood spider? Sloppy work. Okay. We on our Batman detective. Okay. Uh, let's see. You got anything to say? Not a damn. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He mm. was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale. Oh, yeah. Yes, you probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Okay. So, Casey? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. 
Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Mm -hmm. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. Facts. But no happy ending. Okay. I think oh. that's everything. For now, at least. Mm -hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. I think about it right now. Okay, with the victim. I trust Casey's read on people. Sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. Jordan, the victim is Robert Nightingale. That with the victim. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay. Premeditated or spontaneous? Definitely premeditated. They camped they planned out for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Okay, you can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of the suspects and victims. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. A missing person. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. Mm -hmm. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. How does she know that? Intuition? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. Um. Nothing. 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 Victim came from Cauldron Lake. I can feel that not even kill came from the lake, but why not? Okay. Okay. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mug. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. 
classic for real. Okay. Um. The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Well, she decorated. Um, FBI agent. Mike's pulling pranks. We gotta go to the lake. Lake? That's not a lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Yep. Is that this? Park, park ranger? Sheriff type shit? This one of your hunches, Anderson? Yep. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly noon. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing That's skinny true. dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. That's what I said. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Bro, big ass feet is this? Yeah. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? This? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. I can't read that. No. Oh. A page full <clears throat> of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. For us, Whoa. the text is about us. The victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found, the first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, reading the, the words, words. These, these words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. Not accept, even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. It's fire, fire, it's like Someone three point watching us. It's like a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. See, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, oh. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls. 
and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Man, I'd be want to explore, bruh. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Driving, Casey? Oh. <laughs> Unmarked. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything <clears throat> from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Okay. We're back. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Washington. We got dancing marshmallows. What are you doing, lady? Hello. Mind your business. You right. You right. You right. Have to offer. Oh Have dear. To the like Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. I don't just accept coffee like that, bro. I need nice to know. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. Hi, you know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Casey do so like he wants to retire. Besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Culver Mike was passed off. Yes. Missing Black people. Got a city folk? Yeah. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Yeah. Um, let's talk about... What were you doing at Colgen Lake last night? Hmm. I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Your eyes are bugging. So what did you see in the woods? This... Naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, 
called the Victory. Oh, and then we found her. The whole thing was terrifying. What was that? That's all. Hi. The Bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The place was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Bruh, the fact that they use live action mixed with the game is fire fire the cult of the tree what are the bookers telling me i found their necklace the symbol is two triangles the cult wants their spruce tree bag tammy finder's keeper is ed my publisher will want this on the cover tammy found something a necklace belonging to one of the cultists Mmm. That's evidence, man. Okay. Do you have anything for the case board? No. Enter. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <sighs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. Mm. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful awful thing happened to your baby girl how are you um i'm sorry who are you i don't know what you're talking about it's me silly rose you know me i don't think i do and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl she drowned your daughter so weird you don't remember how do you know i have a daughter oh i know what this is you're blocking out your traumatic memories happens on tv all the time no get away from me you're mistaking me for someone else she knew your name right <laughs> if you say so If I ever. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Can't dwell on it too much. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Morning, the wizard was Sheriff. always my... Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Casey, man. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Have a good one, Sheriff. Okay, well... Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. 
Sheriff's. Oh, this okay. is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. How are you? So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. <laughs> I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. FBI might be an interesting career. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. Battery, no, it's ammo. Okay. Okay. Let's put the notification saying I can open shit. I'm open shit. Blink. Fuck. It won't open. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Eesh. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Okay. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Didn't look like it. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. On the heart? Writing. How'd they manage that? Okay. Poo boy. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Okay. Let's start with... Interesting. Text is smudged. Under. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Two on body of heart. Huh. Loading on joints, long term water exposure. From what I've seen, there's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Dear Mass Chanting. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. What else we got? Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Wait. Damn. Like one case at a time. Let's do. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down.
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Got no gloves? Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Man, I'm not trying to get chased by naked dudes ever. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. What is happening? Way two. Um, I'm going to record part two right now. Y'all want me to drop it? You know what to do. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, you know, subscribe for more if you want to see more of Alan Way 2 gameplay, more spooky horrors. We're going to be more consistent. We're going to try to get more content out on this channel, you know. Um, do what we can. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like, leave a comment. Until then, see you next time. Peace.